telling them everything's going to be all right. Back to you. Okay, Maya. Appreciate it. Yeah, the psychology department. Yeah. In full effect. Both these coaching staffs. I mean, it's just amazing how much work and time they put in. Feet and balance by Temple right there. He's only 5'7", 180 pounds. Little razzle dazzle here in Thunder Ridge. Gives it to Kyle Kemp, their flanker. Didn't fool the Falcons too much. He picked up three yards. But it get it out to the 27-yard line. They try and pick up their first first down of the ball game. Tap back to pass. Looks out to the flat. This one caught, but it'll be short of a first down as they get it out to the 27-yard line. And now they'll have a decision here. And he's now tap rolls out looking, throws it to the near side. That pass will be incomplete. He's looking for Kyle Kemp. Well, as Tom talked about earlier, five different tailbacks. They've used three quarterbacks through the course of the year. You're going to use a lot of receivers. You tend to be more horizontal than vertical. This pass out into the flats. This one caught for a big first down and more out over the 50-yard line. Kyle Kemp with the reception, and they've got the freshman back in at quarterback. No one of had. Just felt like he was giving us the best chance to win it. Well, they fake the handoff, they pitch it out to Kyle Kemp. He gets it down to the 30-yard line, and that's a big first down for Thunder Ridge, Jack. That's an interesting play. I, that's a different wrinkle to it. A different wrinkle to it. You had Kyle Kemp going from left to right in motion, and then he stopped at the snap of the ball in reverse direction. See Kemp right there. I like that play. You you just have the defense giving up on him, at least on the left side of the offense in a big hole for the Grizzlies. Sure, second and eight now. Westmoreland rolling out to his right side, wants to pass, throws the ball low. Was it caught? I think they say it will be caught. Yes, they're marking it down at the top. Watch Kyle Kemp as... Westmoreland gets flushed out of the pocket, and I tell you what, I think he did get both hands underneath the ball. A little better look this way, kind of a knuckleball throw, and I don't think either official. Week. And just to tell you what a special guy he was on the field in terms of his, his father, John Jet Johnson, here's what the accomplishments he had on the football field. He attended the University of Northern Colorado. He was the Lions... <laughs> Zach Jones, pretty good tight end. Good size and coach. On the 48 of Heritage. They'll go to the left side and there's room for Temple. A lot see Kyle Kemp, number 25 in. Didn't play last week against Loveland because of an ankle injury, but he's gonna get some snaps here this afternoon. 
So movement on Thunder Ridge, back to the 29. You can see the big ankle, uh, ankle brace. I believe that's his right ankle. Kempf gonna come out and, and battle it only. Got a few chances as a high schooler to get out here and play those football games. And they are gonna need him on the outside because Heritage is a good enough football team. They've got enough pride defensively and you've seen some of the plays that they've made. They're gonna get in tune with what Thunder Ridge is trying to do and eventually Tap will have to go to the air and Kempf will be his favorite target. See if he does it here with four wideouts and a tight end in motion. And here's Tap. Looking over the middle and tries to sneak one into Vol Second and ten, Kemp motion. Tap, holds, pitches. Here's Kyle Kemp. His first play gets ankle tackled, but not until he gets up to the 39. You can tell he's not quite 100%. You know, that's a cut that you, you want to plant on that right foot and get back inside and try to get inside the outside leverage of the corner. Kemp unable to do that on that right side, but the pitch, they struggle with this in the first quarter. It's a good pitch there right on the frame for Kemp. But you can tell he kind of picks that right ankle up, not able to cut like he probably normally would. That's something to watch as this game wears on to see if that either loosens up or maybe it gets tight for Kyle Kemp. Jimmy Ellis on the tackle, pitch to Temple, has the first down. to seven RB. Grizzlies trying to make things happen in the third. Mask to Kyle Kemp, first down, but unable to on a safety from the defense, then a halfback pass. Kemp downfield to Patrick Volker, big play. And while their offense may be young. Now last week, just to give you an idea, they only completed three passes against Loveland.